Here are a couple of um, copyright and appropriate use policies that are really more relevant to the course generally than you in particular as students taking the course. But uh, here they are for your reference. Uh, as it says, uh, materials used in connection with the course may be subject to copyright protection under certain fair use circumstances for specified by law. Copies may be made for private study, scholarship, or research. Electronic copies should not be shared with unauthorized users. So uh, you notice, yeah, we don't have copies of uh, Game of Thrones um, circulating on the Blackboard page. Um, that's why you, you know, have to acquire it. Uh, acquire it yourselves uh, to watch for the um, for the class because that would be a gross violation of appropriate use because it is so widely available. I think if it were a super rare film, um, the situation might be different. Uh, Appropriate use policy, the policy sets forth the privileges of and restrictions on students, faculty, staff, and others with respect to computing and telecommunication systems offered by the University of Mississippi. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that follows up on what uh, was above. Here is relevant material to your papers. So the penalty for plagiarism and other forms of cheating is an F in the course with suspension and dismissal also as possibilities. Uh, this includes word-for-word -word copying of someone else's work um, as well as paraphrasing, let's say, spark notes. Um, I think that Mr. Egner and I will craft assignments that are, um, you know, a little bit more creative than the standard fare that you find on um, in spark notes land. Um, I've had the case happen in the past that someone has gotten, quote unquote, too much help from a tutor. So if you do get help from a tutor, that's great. Um, just make sure that he or she is helping you and not writing the uh writing the paper for you. So suffice it to say that, um, yeah, we don't want to hear what somebody who runs a blog about Game of Thrones has to hear about um, the text and their relationship with uh, medieval analogs. We want to hear what you have to say. Uh, in this, uh, in a related but different vein, uh, given that it's an online course, uh, there are opportunities for collusion that um, are are relevant you know, more than in a, a brick and mortar environment. So uh, do let me know if you suspect that there is some kind of collusion going on um, with quizzes or um, if somebody is writing somebody else's papers for them um, and uh, you will remain anonymous and we will um, follow, follow up on that. Uh, as we say, there's just some um, more language uh, issued by the, the institution, but of course relevant to this course. The University of Mississippi is dedicated sub to su supporting and sustaining a safe and scholarly community of dedicated uh, learning to nurturing excellence inside and outside of the classroom. Each student has a duty to become familiar with the university's values and standards reflected in university policies, and each student has a duty to honor university values and standards reflected in university policies. These are outlined in the M book, uh, so please do um, visit with that. Um, Important bit of administrivia here, um, the past five years or so, we've had to validate whether somebody punches in um, for the first week um, or so of class. Uh, for you guys, given that um, you know, we won't meet in person, you know, possibly ever, uh, your posts completed during week one will suffice. And so um, do make sure that you, you do those because there are folks um, waiting on the wait list for this course who would, would love to have the, um, the, the seat. Um, and yes, yeah, sometimes it doesn't always work out that you're able to take a course. So um, do let us know. And, you know, in, in turn, um, be sure you get those posts up there so that we know that you intend on hanging uh, hanging around. Uh, and again, relevant to uh, you guys, especially because you're taking a proctored exam, uh, you will have to bring your ID to your uh, exam in the uh, if you take it in one of the testing facilities, there are ways of verifying this through ProctorU, which uh, is a service that the university uh, works with often. And so they know um, how to make sure that the person taking the test is, in fact, the person um, uh, depicted in the ID. 
Um, here is a bit of language about the FERPA policies. So essentially, what um, are we as professors allowed to disclose to uh, your your family? So you have made some kind of designation about FERPA when you joined the university community. So uh, make sure that that information is current because that is what Mr. Agner and I will be working off of uh, regarding disclosure about um, grades. I, I think there's information about uh, financial matters uh, also and your bills and so that's not at all relevant to um, to us it's more like your your grades and your welfare in the um, in the the class and we're invested in maintaining your privacy if that's what you've you've designated uh, learning accommodations so very important now this is the type of thing that you should uh, contact me about uh, because um, I will look at that paperwork that you uh, that you provide presumably you've been in contact with this office and I'm able to um, for example manipulate the quizzes on blackboard to allow for extended time for tests if that's um, something that is part of your accommodation so uh, do let me know about that. If you accidentally email Mr. Agner, uh, he'll he'll kick it over to me. So um, we'll we'll take care of you. But it, the onus is on you to let us know. Um, tech support, yeah, I'm actually pretty handy with tech questions, uh, given that I'm a middle-aged person who didn't uh, grow up with computers her entire life. Uh, but I do know Blackboard pretty well, and it's. Um, so believe it or not, like a pretty sane uh, system, but things things do go awry. So uh, email me with tech questions, and if it's something with your connection and your computer and stuff like that, now that I will have no idea about. So um, talk to people with bigger brains than than I. So the folks over at the IT help desk, uh, which is open during business hours, uh, so that is a resource available to you um, right next to the JD Williams Library, or you can call them call them on the phone. Uh, I know that this is getting a little bit long and the syllabus is my very favorite part of um, uh, the the initial introduction to a course, but I'll just look there at um, the first couple of, of weeks uh, to you know let you know what you have to do. So week one, uh, you just have to read this course policy sheet and view the opening sequence of Game of Thrones season one. So hint, hint, it's embedded in the, the lecture. And so uh, if you go and look at Blackboard now in the week by week, there will be four things under each week that you have to do. So read or view. Uh, then uh, the next one is complete. So that is your discussion board posts and your um, the quiz that you have to take. And forgive me, but above that, it is uh, listen, which is the, the lecture uh, important uh, in order to be able to post uh, your discussion uh, items as well as take the quiz. And then lastly, uh, achieve. So that's like a little checklist. So it'll say read or view, listen. So listen and watch the um, the lectures are kind of in a PowerPoint sort of sort of style, uh, then complete. So that's going to be the graded work for the week. So you want to make sure anything in that folder gets done. And then achieve is um, tangible things like did you take quiz number one and um, did you make the discussion post, but then also some like intellectual questions like did you understand this idea? So um, have a look at the week by week. I think it is like a very, very legible um, to the point of organizational insanity, um, if I do say so myself. Um, see, looking there at week two, so we are beginning with Gerald of Wales, the first book that's in the little list of, of materials that you need for the course. So uh, it is just like the very introductory bit of that um, text because I want to give a little bit of historical background. So you will have to read that. And for next week, you'll have to have some kind of way of watching of watching full episodes of Game of Thrones. The text that we'll do after that is um, Machiavelli's The Prince. That will take us, um, so after a few weeks of on Gerald, Machiavelli's The Prince will take us to something like week seven or eight, then uh, Beowulf, and then Mallory's Mort d'Arthur. Um, when you buy the Mort d'Arthur, you'll look at it and say, this is a big, thick book. And uh, looking down at the syllabus, you will see that we're only reading about 
uh, a third of that. So uh, thank you for hanging in there and listening to this syllabus lecture. Uh, I didn't read every single blessed word on it, but I did also um, elaborate on some of the more um, involved ideas. So also do uh, email Mr. Agner or me with your questions and good luck and Godspeed.